How's it going, PPR fans? Bo Furtick here at San Diego Mesa College, the home of the D2 semifinal game in the San Diego section, Imperial Valley Tigers versus the St. Augustine Saints. Imperial Valley made the track over 100 miles to get to this point. We're going to talk to some fans and how they got here. We are with the home fan, Kaya, representing number 20 and number 23. Who are these people? Why are you representing them? Um, Carlos Villanueva because he's my best friend and Salvador Perez because he's one of my good friends. <laughs> so what was the travel like getting here? Long. It was very long. Did you guys, uh, did you carpool? Did you take a bus? I rode with a friend and we pretty much jammed out the whole way. What did you guys jam out to? Uh, music. <laughs> Beyonce. Talk about the game and how excited you are. Obviously a lot of fans here today. Um, I'm excited to watch the game. It should, it should be um, <laughs> pretty exciting to see our team face another good team. The running backs against running backs. Awesome. Thank you, Kaya. Welcome. We're still here at San Diego Mesa College. We have our fans here. <laughs> Tracked a long way to get here. Talk about the travel. <laughs> um, it was fun. It was fun. It was fun. Yeah. <laughs> fun travel. That's always fun. Big semi-final game today. Are you guys excited? Yes. Woo! Yes, we are. <laughs> How long does it take you guys to get here? Um, two hours. Two hours. And it's the funnest two hours of your life, yeah. I'm guessing. <laughs> yes, it is. And how, how many of you guys came together? Is it was it a carpool? Yeah, all of us. Family, okay, yeah. representing over here. We got some imperial representers. <laughs> all right. Um, talk about Royce Freeman, the excitement of that whole thing. Um, I, do you know Royce? Yes, I do. Oh, how about that? So, so did you give him a, a prep game talk? What, what, what goes into something like that? How, how do you, how do you get him ready for the game? Actually, we don't text because he needs to focus. Okay, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. Okay, one, one more answer, or one more question. How do you think Royce is going to do today? What do you expect from your man today in the semifinal game? Um, I think he's going to do really good. I say four touchdowns today. Four touchdowns. <laughs> if, they, if he has four touchdowns, it probably get a win. And that's what these fans are hoping for, traveling over 100 miles to get here. We are here with the father of Imperial player. Dad, just talk about this track getting here in the semifinal game to watch your son. Oh, this, this season has been great. We, we got some great players out here. My son is a, a left tackle. He's 6'2", 290 pound tackle. And uh, he does a lot of blocking, comes home. And, uh, this, is, and this team is not just about individual players. They came, they're, a, they're a big family. And we're a big supporting group of family and parents. And when we come out here, we come out here to cheer these up. And it's just to us, we play each game her game. And you talk about big family, and a lot of people made the track this far. Talk about how you got here and with how many people. Well, this is my family, my wife and my kid. My brother lives here in San Diego, and they came down on our way up here when, when we won that game last week. And uh, it was an exciting moment, and it was a tough game. And uh, we beat them 49-42, and we beat El Capitan. And uh, for, a, for a family to see these kids come out here and the excitement on their face, they knew that they're close to Qualcomm. So we're only two games away. Well, talk about how exciting it is after the win to go back home. It seems like it would be a, uh, not as long as it coming here. Leaving here to go home is going to be tremendous. It, it, there, there's no words I can say how exciting it's going to be when we leave this field here with a winning under our belt. Uh, when we win down in the valley at home field, I live two blocks away. <laughs> you know, and it's just as exciting. Uh, I'm very proud of this team. My son's a senior. He's going out strong. But, and I was kind of sad for a little bit because it's his last year. But I have a freshman coming up, and he plays freshman ball. So we're going to be a, another four years. And I'm sure you feed him just as well. Uh, kind of. <laughs> cornbread. He's not going to be, a, he's not gonna be as big as my, my son out here. Uh, he's, he plays cornerback position. My son plays line. But this game here is going to be a great game. We're matched up pretty good. And, uh, but uh, we're so positive right now. We don't make this track up here for nothing. We're going home winning. Right. You know? And I, I, I like to, the crowd. I like being out here. I like being part of this Imperial Tiger. I myself was a, a Brawley Wildcat. And uh, we moved 10 years ago to Imperial and never looked back. 
you know, and my son's out here playing. I'm out to football. I do the chains. I do, I do everything for Imperial. An exciting father. An exciting father and an exciting time. And we're just moments away, so moments away. Get, get, get ready, get saddled up, because we got a great matchup today between St. Augustine and Imperial. PPR fans, moments away from the big game. What's your name and who are you representing? Mariah Macias and Chris Carter. So this is a long track to get here. Talk about how you got here and who you came with. Mm, well, I came here with my family, Chris Carter's family, his mom's over here. Say hi! <laughs> and yeah, we're excited. Well, yeah, talk about the, that excitement coming all the way from Imperial and now here in San Diego County. Mm, it's pretty fun. It's not that long, it's just two hours, but yeah. <laughs> it's not that long. Two hours and you're out of San Diego County, but you're representing a star player on Imperial. Just talk about how you, how excited you are to, to watch your uh, friend play. I'm nervous, and he's gonna do great, and we're all praying for him, so yeah. Talk about how exciting it is to go back home after a big win. Mm, it's gonna be really exciting, and then we're gonna be playing at Qualcomm Stadium, so woo! <laughs> We're about 30 minutes away from game time. We have an alum. What, what year did you graduate, sir? 1965. 65. Did you ever make a track like this over to San Diego County during your years? Yes. When I was playing at Ivy, at the college, yes, we used to come over here all the time. We played here at Mesa, played baseball here, yes. Talk about, you know, for the kids, this is a big venue coming from Imperial. Just talk about that experience for yourself. Well, it's a big venue for the kids. It's a big venue for our community. Uh, everybody in town is so proud of these kids, and we have people here from all over the valley, not only Imperial. I see Brawley people, El Centro people, Hopeville people. It's a big deal for us. We've, we've heard family a couple times spoken from a couple of these fans here at Imperial. Talk about that a little bit. It, it is a big family. You just look around, and it's, it's, uh, it's amazing. People follow these, these teams everywhere they go, and look at our support. We probably have more, more people here than the San Diego team. Talk about your track getting here, who you came with, how, how long it took. I came with a couple of friends of ours and a uh, fellow board member, uh, school board member, and we uh, takes about an hour and a half to get here, hour 45. No problem. We, you know, we come to the San Diego all the time. <laughs> you, you, people say no problem for two hours, but to us San Diegans, that's a long track. But it just goes to show how uh, well this community kind of comes together in a sense. Well, yeah, if we had to go five hours, we would. It didn't make any difference how far it is. We're going to the ball game, you know. Spoken like a true champion. There he is, alumni of 65. Still moments away from the big game. Bo here with President Mo of the school board. Talk about how exciting it is to get the community together on an event like this. Well, Imperial has been a strong, supportive community. I mean, they come to, you'll see more people from Imperial go to a game than you do the, you know, the home team. And uh, Imperial, we're proud of the you know support that the community gives to the teams and the sports and all the kids. That's you know, it's important. All of us feel that same thing. But it, talk about the community support. You know the signs, everything that goes in to it during football season. How much more lively is it? Well, it's you know, it's it's an exciting thing going on right now. You know, we're CIF finals. We win tonight. You know, when we win tonight, we're going to be going to Qualcomm, and that's that's pretty exciting for anybody, especially for the kids that are out on the field. You know, they've been wor working with Coach Laguerre for three or four years now and he's, he's prepared them well and you know they're ready to come out here and battle so we hope we have a good outcome you know you wish for that all the time you know right. you don't know what's going to happen it could be thunder coming lightning coming and somebody will strike and nobody knows what's going to happen we we're, we're confident that our team's going to do well tonight and talk about just the overall support of these kids how much have these kids grown through this time oh you know i i i, I really haven't dealt with them you know individually but i know as a, as a team you know, uh, like I said, Coach Laguerre really prepares him to, to play well, and, you know, he works him uh, in terms of conditioning and in terms of preparation. And so hopefully, you know, that, that, that I guess, translates into success, and it has for us because, you know, like I said, we're here at the semifinals, and, you know, you can't get much better than that. How long have you been involved with the school? I've been involved with the school. I taught for 31 years, and now I've been on the school board going on six, seven years now. And have you seen anything ever like this at Imperial? Well, no. This is the first time we've made it to CIF Finals. We've had a lot of good teams, you know, but never got to this kind of a situation where you're winning and going into semifinals. And, you know, next game, next week, we're going to be at Qualcomm, and that's going to be exciting. <laughs> you know, I think all the kids are that way. You know, they just, 
you know, we come from a small rural area. And, uh, you know, when you get a team that's competitive and, and, and beating the big schools, you know, that uh, you gotta be, you got to be prepared to brag about that, I think, you know. So we're, we're, we're excited about it, definitely so. A family town really supporting their family team in Imperial. Absolutely, yeah, you're right. And this is going to be a great matchup. Bo I mean, Furtick from San Diego. I mean, oh. you can look at the stands. You can see how many people are here and look at how many people are over there. There's yeah. a lot more people here on the Imperial side than there is on the other side. And so we're, we're excited about it. And that's all that really needs to be said about the fans. Absolutely, absolutely. They're wonderful. They're great fans.